If you're running a voice AI agency right now, you probably struggle with one question more than any other. How the hell do I price this? If it's too high and prospects run away thinking it's unaffordable. If it's too low and you're leaving serious money on the table. After interviewing with dozens of real voice agencies and seeing what actually works in the space, I've identified the two pricing models that consistently deliver results. In this video, by looking at two real AI agencies pricing model, I'm breaking down exactly how to structure your pricing to maximize profits without scaring away clients. So let's dive right into it. Voice AI pricing 101, how real voice AI agencies set their prices. Shout out to Randy from Agentic Audio and Josh from action to call So before I dive into these two pricing models, let's get clear on why pricing is so challenging for voice AI agencies specifically. Unlike traditional services where deliverers are clear cut, voice AI combines a lot of things. First, technology costs are scaled with usage and intelligence level. So your hard cost of delivering your service will be significantly differed depending which voice, LLM, or agent builder you use. So secondly, integration complexity that varies widely by client. If your AI solution is too complex to set up for each of your client, you probably want to charge more for your upfront set of fee so that you can justify your time to set everything up for your client. Lastly, ongoing maintenance that's hard to predict. And this maintenance comes after setting everything up for your client. And actual day-to-day -day activity would be checking all the call logs of your AI agents. Since AI is not deterministic in terms of output, you should always be willing to check your AI agent's performance every single day just to make sure your AI agent is performing in a way that, you, that you'd that expect to. So the first model is set of fee plus permitted pricing. This model is perfect for complex voice AI implementations that require significant integration work upfront and have variable usage patterns afterwards. Here's how it works. So first, first you charge an upfront set of fee ranging from a couple thousand dollars to up to $50,000 depending on complexity. And this covers initial voice AI development and training, integration with existing systems such as CRM, and security implementation and testing and deployment. Then you charge a permitted rate for actual usage, typically between 20 cents to 60 cents per minute, depending on your cost and margin goals. So let me give you a real world example. Josh, one of the most successful voice AI agency owners I know, uses this exact model for his healthcare clients. He charges anywhere from $10,000 to $50,000 for a set of fee because his healthcare clients require complex integrations with their existing systems. For instance, when working with a medical office, he needs to integrate with their patient management system, ensure HIPAA compliance, build custom functions that connect to their appointment scheduling software, create specialized voice flows for different types of patient inquiries. After the set, Josh charges anywhere from 30 cents to 60 cents, depending on the plan he offers. This works perfectly because the often fee covers its development cost and increased commitment. Secondly, the permitted pricing scales proportionally with value. If they use AI for more calls, there will be more value to client, and it makes sense for you to charge more dollars for your service. And clients only pay for what they use, so they will also feel fair to them. So the beauty of this model is that as usage increases, so does your revenue without requiring additional work from you. So the second model is tiered retainer plus overage fees. This second model is ideal for standardized voice AI implementations, such as AI receptionist, where you want predictable recurring revenue. Here's how it works. You create three or four pricing tiers it's including a small set of fee, a fixed monthly retainer, a set number of included minutes in that retainer, and the average fee for additional usage. So Randy, another successful voice AI agency owner from Agentic Audio, uses this model for his AI receptionist service. Since his solution is relatively standardized with minimal customization, he only charges anywhere from $100 to $3,000 set of fee just enough to get clients emotionally invested. So he's, he's not trying to make his money from the set of fee. He's just, he just want their clients to get their foot in the door. So now let's look into the actual pricing section of his landing page. 
So as you can see here, this is Renda's agency's pricing model. And there are three tiered plans, Star, Pro, Bespoke. And in Star plan, as you can see, uh, there's one time setup fee and $199 per month retainer. And, it, and this retainer includes 150 minutes. And after 150 minutes, he charges 32 cents per minute overage. And for Pro plan, He's charging $3.99 per month with $3.50 one-time setup fee. And this plan includes 500 minutes and he charges $0.24 cents per minute overage. And for his and in the highest plan, Bespoke is charging from $1,000 per month, $3,000 setup fee. And there's no specific information about how many minutes included in this plan but i assume it's going to be a lot more than the pro one yeah i think yeah, i think we can think of this as like a custom enterprise plan because it starts from it starts from thousand dollars per month retainer so, so this is more like a customized plan rather than um standardized plan like star and pro plan so also notice that this is monthly rates but he offers two months free if someone and if the client subscribes to the annual plan and this is pretty typical in this agency or SaaS world. and also i think also another worth noting here is basically how the permitted cost decreases as clients move up into tiers and in star plan he charges 30, 32 cents per minute overage but in pro plan he charges 24 cents per minute overage so this incentivizes clients to upgrade rather than just pay overage fees. So rather than rather than staying on the starter plan, the client will move up to pro plan quickly because the overage fee is so like 30 to 40% cheaper than the starter plan. And from agency side of view, by incentivizing uh, to upgrade to higher tiers, Agents can get more recurring revenue. So Randy's model works brilliantly because the monthly retainer provides predictable cash flow and the small side of fee reduces sales resistance while ensuring commitment and the tier structure creates natural upsell opportunities along the way and clients feel they're getting more value at higher tiers. While retail AI costing agencies around 8 cents to 13 cents per minute, let me actually dive into retail AI pricing model here. So for those who don't know already about retail AI yet, retail AI is one of the most reliable and popular voice AI agent building platforms out there in the market. And they provide this cost calculator uh, on their landing page. So let me actually walk you through uh, the actual cost per minute that you would incur as an agency. So for simplicity, um, let's say we use 100 minutes and if you're using your if you're using your own LM in Latin Labs voices and custom telephony, you're gonna be charged seven cents per minute. But most likely you're gonna be using retail AI's out of the box LLM model, such as GPT4, right? And Latin Labs voices are good. And telephony, you're gonna be using retail Trilio. So your cost would be 13 cents in your case. If you're using GPT-4 or Mini and custom telephony, let's say you're gonna be charging um, seven cents, eight cents. So you get the idea. The, the actual hard cost of your system will significantly different depending on which LLM you use. So let's say if I'm using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, it goes up to like 13 cents per minute. And if you are using Retail Trio as well, it's going to be the most most expensive. So as you can see, Rendis margins are excellent, even at the, the most expensive cost from retail AI. So now we've covered two real pricing models that real AI agencies are using right now. And you might be asking, which model should I choose? So I'd recommend using the first model, set of fee plus per minute pricing. If your solution requires significant custom development upfront from your end, or each client has unique integration needs or usage patterns vary widely between clients. Also, I'd recommend going for the second model, the tiered retainer model with overage fee. 
If your voice AI solution is relatively standardized and you want predictable monthly recurring revenue, or your target clients prefer a fixed cost, or you can reasonably predict average usage of your client base. So to be honest with you, I see many successful agencies actually use both models depending on the client. For simpler implementations, they offer tier pricing and for complex enterprise projects, they switch to the set of plus per minute model. But no matter which model you choose, here are some crucial implementation tips. First, always start with a discovery call to understand client's need before pricing. Also, you need to define what's included in your fees to avoid scope creep. So you need to clearly define what's included in your service. If you don't set the ex expectation right before actually moving forward with your service, there will be a lot of stress. So I'm telling you right now, please, please define what's included in your service very, very clearly. And also you need to set realistic expectations about timelines and results. AI is really great, but it's not there yet. There are some things that we can control about the output of AI, but there's some things that we cannot control. AI is not deterministic, meaning that AI can produce false data, false output. There's no guarantee that this AI will follow your system prompt every single time. So you need to say that upfront and you want to set a clear expectation about your service and results. Also, you probably want to create a one page pricing document outlining your structure so that you don't just wing pricing for every single client. Basically having a standardized pricing model for your agency will save a lot of time when closing a deal. And lastly, you want to focus on ROI in sales conversations. Remember you're not selling your voice AI's features. You're selling the results. Your clients don't care if you use AI or not. They just care about their results. If you're selling appointment setters, all they care about is the number of appointments booked through your service. It doesn't matter if it's AI agents or human, they just want booked appointments in their calendar. So for example, if your voice AI saves 40 hours at 24, 25 hours, uh, that's a thousand dollar value. $500 fee reasonable. So the biggest mistake I see voice agencies make is focusing too much on the technology and not enough on the business outcomes. So remember, please, please remember clients don't buy voice AI. They buy time savings, better customer experiences, or increased revenue. That's all that matters. You either save their time or make them more money. So now you have two proven pricing models that are working right now for successful voice AI agencies. Whether you choose the setup plus permanent model for complex implementations or the tiered retainer approach for more standardized solutions, you now have a framework to price your services profitably. Remember that your pricing communicates your value. If you position yourself as a premium solution that delivers real business results, clients will pay accordingly. If you found this video helpful and want more strategies to scale your voice agency, make sure to subscribe to my channel where I share the exact frameworks and tactics that are working right now in this fast evolving industry. Plus, I made a free pricing template to help you get started. Link is in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.